Hello everyone and welcome back. On this video, I'm going to show you how to stream live using OBS with great quality audio. We're going to discuss everything you need to know about setting up your audio interface so that you can stream your voice, the sound of your DAW or your system audio with the best audio quality possible. On this example, I'm going to use YouTube as my streaming platform, but the same procedure applies to all other streaming platforms as well. So let me show you how you can set everything up and you'll be streaming in no time. So let's talk about what we will need to live stream. We will need our computer, we will need a microphone, we will need an audio interface. In this case, I'm using the UR22C and we'll need a pair of headphones. I would totally suggest that you use headphones when you live stream so that you don't have any unpleasant feedback loops or any echoes and stuff like this. You don't want this when you live stream. So whenever you can use headphones, please use headphones. It's going to make your life so much easier. Now, the first thing I'm going to do, of course, is connect my microphone into the preamp, the first preamp of the UR22C right here. Now, because this microphone, the stm one from the UR22C recording pack is a condenser microphone, we also need to power it in order to make it work. So there's a switch in the back of the UR22C and this, when we turn it on, will provide phantom power to our mic. And as you can see, we have the LED light, which means that this is now working. And also we have the 48 volt phantom power LED light in the front of the UR22C, meaning that we now have phantom power and we're good to go. Now, in order to perform the rest of the settings for our mic and for our audio interface, we need to run the DSP Mix FX app on our computer. Now, this gets installed when you install the drivers for your audio interface. And of course, make sure you have the latest drivers installed. Now, once you launch the Mix DSPFX app, you will see this window. Inside this window, we can perform some really important settings. First of all, we can take the level for our microphone. And if I want to have a very detailed view of my levels, I can go and click on this icon. And as you can see, now I have a very nice view meter and I can get my level with confidence. I'm aiming for around minus 6 dB, so I have a little bit of headroom, and then we can go back. I can add a high pass filter so that I can get rid of any rumble, any unwanted low frequencies, and of course, if I want to, I can go and activate the channel strip. Now, the channel strip is one of the built in DSP effects with zero latency that we have on the UR22C, and basically the entire range of URC interfaces. And this allows you to get a very good sound very quickly for your voice or anything else that you connect into the preamps. In this case, I can morph between different compression and EQ settings. And when I'm happy with the sound, I can close the window, the settings are retained, and I can go and stream with this great quality audio. If I want to create my own custom settings, I can of course do that. I can go ahead and maybe I want a little bit of top end to my voice, maybe a little bit of low end like this, or I can exaggerate a little bit. And of course I can go and add a little bit of compression like that. And maybe I want to change the knee so I can have very aggressive compression if I want this kind of radio voice or I can have like a soft knee and a little bit less drive. So it will be more like a leveling type of compression, which will help make my voice sound a little bit more homogenous, a little bit more even. So once I'm done, I can close this. And one of the settings you absolutely need to take care of if you want to stream live is this loopback button. This loopback button should be on, not only so that your audience can hear your voice through your microphone, but so that they can also hear the sound of your DAW, if you want to stream the sound of your DAW, like Cubase, for example, or your audio coming out of your computer, like Spotify, or your internet browser, all these things, if you want to play some music, this needs to be turned on. This will allow your audience to hear back the music that you're playing, and also being able to hear the effects that you add over here with your channel strip, or maybe you want to add a little bit of reverb, like that. So this is also very useful if you want to stream your live performance on YouTube, you can add a little bit of reverb to your voice. Or if you're a guitarist, you might want to go and run your guitar through an amp simulator. These are also nice DSP effects that are in the box. So once we've set up our audio the way we want it, we're ready to jump into OBS and get ready for streaming. So I'm going to bring up OBS 
and very quickly I'm going to show you how you can set up OBS in order to make it work with your audio interface. When you first launch OBS you're going to get this blank screen. Now if you want to stream your computer screen the first thing you need to do is go into the plus icon right here and you need to select display capture and this I'm going to name it MacBook screen. Click OK and as you can see we have our screen right here. So that means that we're going to broadcast our screen. Great. Now the next thing you might want to do is you might want to broadcast your webcam if you have one. That's also very simple. You click on plus and you select video capture device. And I'm going to name this webcam and I'm going to select my webcam and there we go. Here I am. So now I can click OK and as you can see I can place my webcam feed wherever I want on the screen which is really really cool. So for now I'm going to focus on streaming my screen. Now let's make sure that we get the audio settings right because that's a very important thing when you're live streaming on YouTube. Now the easiest way to set up your audio into OBS is to go into your mic auxiliary input right here as you can see in the audio mixer. Click on the cogwheel Go to properties and here we need to make sure that we select our Steinberg UR22C as our device. We click OK and as you can see now you can see the level of my microphone input right here. So if I turn down the gain, you will see it's gone. So I can also take the levels from here but if I've set it up already in the DSP Mix FX app I'm already good to go. Now because we've turned Lou back on I can also play some music from Spotify in this case but it could also be Cubase or your DAW. And as you can see OBS picks up the music as well in stereo and that's because we turned on loopback. That's why loopback is so important when you're streaming live. Now, one tip that I want to give you is if you want to adjust the level balance between your voice and the music, you can do this very easily with the UR22C because we have a dedicated mix knob in the front of the unit. So let's try it out. I'm going to start the music. And I'm going to turn the knob towards my mic so that you can hear more of my voice. And now I can bring up the music again. Maybe have more of the music. And now my voice again. So when you stream live, you will find this feature extremely useful. It's so easy, it's so hands-on, you can do it in real time. And this will save you from a lot of headaches when you're streaming. This is a really cool thing. So when you're streaming live, please make good use of it. Okay, so now that we've set our audio up, we just need to go to our settings and we'll go to our streaming settings. We'll make sure that everything is set up the way we want to. And now we're ready to go and stream live. So now we need to go into YouTube and go live and we need to go into our stream option. And I'm going to give my stream a name and I'm going to create stream and I'm going to copy the stream key, go back to OBS, settings, stream and then I'm going to paste my stream key here, okay, and I can start streaming. And now OBS is connected to YouTube and we're ready to go live. And that's it. Now we're live streaming on YouTube. We're broadcasting our screen and we have great quality audio. So I hope this video was useful and you have loads of fun streaming live with great quality audio. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.